the reticulated python. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry. There are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. What is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, Snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a snake. Someone left it here in a cage. Oh, wow! What a beautiful snake! Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great! I'm coming up! Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals, like rats and birds. But they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They are just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Look, here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're gonna set her free. That is a big snake. You know, reticulated pythons are great swimmers and sometimes hang from the branches of trees to attack their prey. Their name comes from the pattern on their skin, which looks like a net and helps to hide them in the jungle. What about the mothers and their eggs? They can be quite protective of their eggs and they can lay up to 80 of them at a time. If you want to find a good place to let it go, look for a place near water like rivers and lakes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. 
Here's an open field with tents, and over here is a lake. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a field with tents, which means there are people. And over there is a lake. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to a place with water because pythons are great swimmers. Let's go! Are you okay? I'm fine, Katie. But the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where in the World. In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry. <laughs> Upper Fluffies and the Imp. Today's first topic is Mystery Country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is. Dinner table. Although you might think of serving it with spaghetti, locals enjoy it with a side of lingonberry or cranberry jam. An unlikely combination, but give it a try. Good try, but that's not the answer. Your second clue is Midsummer, a festival celebrated at the start of the summer holidays. Local folks make garlands and crowns out of flowers and celebrate the summer with feasts. Dancing and singing. Sloppy, you are correct. Today's mystery country is Sweden. Congratulations, Sloppy. Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where in the World. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Three, four, five. Yes, I'm going to win! Not yet, Tim. We could still catch up to you. How close is Tim to winning the game? Let's find out. The numbers can help us count how many spaces Tim has to move to reach the end. And win! One, two, three! Let's count how many spaces Tim has to move to win the game. One, two, three, four, four five. Woohoo! Only five more spaces. Watch me win this, guys. But Tim, you just had your turn. Now it's Calc's turn to go. Aw, oh, come on. I'm so close to the end. Can I go first, please, Calc? Oh, stop, Calc. <gasps> Oh, no! The dice! Where did they go? I can't seem to find them anywhere. No! Now I can't finish the game and win! Don't worry, Tim. The supercomputer will know where we can get new dice. Come on! 
I'll just look up where to find new dice for our board game. And now we run the numbers. The desert? Oh, of course. Mr. Merchant sells everything. I'm sure he'll have some dice. You're right, Tim. Okay, everyone. Let's go to the desert to get new dice for our board game. So I can win. Mr. Merchant? Mr. Merchant, are you here? We're looking to get some dice for our board game. Oh, dear. It looks like his stall is closed. What? Then where are we going to get dice from? I <gasps> know where to find dice. Uncle Stinks! Go to the special cave. Look for the special door and get your special dice. The magic carpet will take you to the cave. Cool. Hurry, let's go, guys. How do we know what the special door looks like? The special door has five handprints beside it. Five handprints beside the door. Okay, got it. Thanks, Uncle. Sphinx? Hey, where did he go? Come on, Paula. Let's go already. To the special cave, Magic Carpet. This must be the special cave that Uncle Sphinx was talking about. Thanks, Magic Carpet. All right, special dice, here we come. Okay, everyone. Keep a lookout for a door with five handprints beside it. Is this the door, Paula? I don't think so, Billy. Those aren't handprints. They're footprints. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, I think Chalky might have found it. Oh, these are handprints. Let's count how many handprints are beside the door to make sure we have the right one. One, two, three. three. But there are only three handprints. It's the wrong door. It's okay. Maybe Count found the right door. Come on, everyone. Let's count the handprints beside the door to make sure it's the right one. One, one two, two, three, three four, five. Five handprints. We found the right door. Woohoo! We're getting new special dice. Um, how do we open the door? To open the door, put your hands on the handprints one at a time, starting from the left. Beware! You must follow the order from left to right. Do not skip ahead, or something terrible will happen. Something terrible? Nah, it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm putting my hand on the first handprint. Cool! The door is opening! Hurry, everyone! I'll do this one, Paula. Chucky, you can go next. <gasps> oh, no, Chucky! Are you okay, Chucky? No, 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 no! The door closed again! It's okay, Tim. We'll just start again. Careful now, Chucky. Ah! Uh, this is too slow. I'll just put my hand here and the door will open faster. Oh, dear. Why did you do that, Tim? Uncle Sphinx said something terrible will happen if we skipped ahead. I'm sorry, guys. Huh? What's going on? Is there something over there, Calc? <gasps> it's a giant boulder. Run! Ah! There's no way out. Look, guys, there's a small hole in the wall. I think we can all go through the hole safely if we do it one at a time. You go first, Billy. Hurry, hurry! Chalky, you can go next. Quick, Chalky. Oh, you're too slow. Let me go first. Huh? Oh, no. Help! You guys are stuck. Why didn't you wait your turn, Tim? I know. I'm sorry. Please, help get us out. What are you doing, Cap? Whoa, Calc! You saved 
saved us. What's happening? Please help us out. Don't worry, Tim. It's all good now. We're alive. Thanks, guys. Is everyone okay? Yes, Billy. You guys should have seen what Calc did. The boulder was coming toward us, then Calc did this, hi-ya, and then poof, the boulder fell to pieces. It was really awesome. Thanks for saving us, Calc. I'm sorry for getting all of us in trouble. It's all right, Tim. Let's go back and get the special dice for our game. Okay, everyone. Remember, it's one at a time, from left to right, in that order. One, one two, two, three, three four, five. five! The door is finally open! We did it, guys! Let's go get the special dice. I think there's one over there. Wow, there are so many sides. It seems there are 20 sides. So Uncle Sphinx really meant it when he said special dice. That's right, Billy. Number of the day. Five dice. Five handprints. Okay, let's finish this game so I can win! Oh, sorry, Calc. I forgot that it's your turn. Anyway, you're so far behind, I don't think you'll be able to catch up to me. <gasps> Calc rolled 20. I don't know, Tim. He might beat you. <laughs> Calc won. No! I was so close! <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure. Welcome back! Katie, but the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. Hmm, where should we look to find the mother python? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the mother python, just look for a lake. Not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look for a lake. 
I see. So not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look, look for, for a, a lake. lake. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the Mother Python, you have to look for a lake. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a lake with the Mother Python. Is that a python? Hmm, those are just vines. Let's continue. Is that a python? That's just a monkey. Can you see what that is? Yes, it's a lake. Perhaps the mother python is there. Good job, hero. We're coming over. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it. We found the mother python. Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished.